The deft touch in Tottenham's passing, so effective throughout the game, produced a polished opening goal for Garth Crooks after nine minutes. Three minutes before half-time, Ipswich climbed level. Paul Mariner heading in Arnold Muren's free kick. Ipswich then reacted angrily at referee John Martin's decision to give Tottenham a free kick for Eric Gates' tackle on Steve Archibald. Protests even more animated, perhaps, because of their awareness of the threat of Glenn Hoddle from such position. And Hoddle duly stepped up to place his free kick past the wall and past Paul Cooper. It really was a wintry night, and the conditions played a part in Ipswich's second equaliser. Gates' is cross curling past the despairing Barry Danes. Five minutes later, and it was Steve Perriman knocking the ball into the Ipswich penalty area, and as the attack continued, Perriman sliding in to put Tottenham back in front, 3-2 responded yet again. Another cross from Muren and Mariner showing his power on the far post. That really should have set the game up for a tremendous climax, but 14 minutes from time, the evening was somewhat soured when Gates was sent off after an incident with Tottenham's Graham Roberts. Tottenham took full advantage. Stephen Archibald here capitalising on Cooper's fumble to make it 4-3. And in the very last minute, Tottenham worked this free kick for Osvaldo Ardiles to emphasise their victory with a fifth goal. <laughs> 